Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because we do come out with videos about EMS every single week. And once again, we're going to be going over a different mnemonic in EMS and this week we're going to be going over AEIOU tips. So first, let's go over what AEIOU TIPS actually stands for. It is a mnemonic that is intended to assist EMS or other medical personnel with remembering the different causes of altered mental status. The A stands for alcohol or drug abuse. As we know, alcohol and drugs can cause our patients to act altered. Next is E, and E stands for endocrine problems, epilepsy, and electrolyte imbalances, all of which can cause an altered mental status. And I stands for infection. An infection or sepsis can definitely make a patient act altered, and typically when we run on the elderly population, one of the first questions I ask if they're acting altered is if they've had a recent UTI or maybe ask for the signs and symptoms that they've been experiencing to possibly rule out a UTI or sepsis. And O is for O overdose. So if a patient's taken too much of their medication or even patients that have taken illegal or illicit drugs and also oxygen deficit. So a patient who is hypoxic can present confused or altered. And U stands for uremia, which is urea in the blood. And T stands for trauma, tumor, or temperature. As we know, a high or low temperature can cause a patient confusion or altered mental status. A tumor or something that is putting pressure on the brain can cause major behavior changes. Horse trauma. It could be trauma to the head or it could be hypovolemia following trauma. And I stands for insulin. So this could be in reference to hyper or hypoglycemia. P stands for psychiatric problems or poisons. And the last one is S and it stands for stroke or shock. And that's about all there is to AEIOU tips. And if you're new to EMS or maybe you've even been in EMS for a while and this doesn't look exactly what you learned when you were in class, it's mainly because there are different variations and I try to to kind of condense it and include all of the variations there are out there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!